Disclaimer. The following is a parody of CinemaSin's Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first. The intent of this video is for comedy and entertainment purposes only. With this in mind, you should know that the feelings of the creator of this video towards the game in question will not be accurately reflected here. That being said, the creator has no intention of offending anyone involved with the game's creation, its franchise, the game itself, or the people who like the game. Without further ado, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy. I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, is any of this for real? Or not? We kick off Kingdom Hearts, bringing you Sora after Dentist. You literally just said so much to do, so little time. I highly doubt that taking my time is an option, text. Lies! Deceit! Cinderella's hair is blonde! Worst game ever! I'm like an hour into the game and I understand nothing. What was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I've told you before. I don't remember. Nothing at all? Nothing. Do you ever want to go back? Okay, Sora, quick question. Why would you want to go back to a place you don't even remember? So what are we waiting for? Hey! Aren't you guys forgetting about me? Yes, apparently. So... I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. Oh, this guy looks like a guy that's gonna backstab us. I bet he backstabs us. Ready? Go! Uh, I don't know if Kyrie made it intentional for Sora and Riku to compete, but if she was planning on competing with them herself, she could have had an advantage over them. She was the only one on her feet when she said go. Hey Sora, have you heard about the legendary power of the Palpu fruit? My god, there's a reason they didn't give you guys voices in the original game. So, suppose you get to another world. <laughs> what would you do there? Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. To be fair, you haven't really thought of anything past I've let's make a raft, take some food, and hope for the best. If there are any other worlds out there, why did we end up on this one? Um, well, the islands are called Destiny Islands, so I'm gonna go with Destiny. And suppose there are other worlds then ours is just a little piece of something much greater. So, we could have just as easily ended up somewhere else, right? I don't know. Exactly. What? What you just said made no sense. Yes, you could have ended up somewhere else, but so what? So let's go. You've been thinking a lot lately, haven't you? No, not really. Thanks to you. If you hadn't come here, I probably would have never thought of any of this. Is their definition of worlds the same thing as, say, a town? Because Kairi could have just moved from somewhere pretty close and Riku misinterprets it as she's from another world. You wanted one, didn't you? A palpu fruit? If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. Define share, because for all intents and purposes, you just shared it with Sora, and we all know what the Yaoi fanbase thinks of that. Suddenly, 20th Century Fox. If that's the case, I don't understand the need for huge doors. The design doesn't suit the need. Good morning, your majesty! Uh, he knows there's no one in there, right? It's nice to see you, this one. What? You seriously didn't notice no one was there when you walked in? <laughs> you know, for the king's personal night, Gooby's doing a pretty lousy job if he's just out in the garden taking a nap. If I win, uh, I'm captain. And if you win, I get to share the palpu with Kyrie. Huh? Deal? The winner gets to share a palpu with Kyrie. Uh, wait a minute. Sora, you need to get your priorities straight, man. This world has been connected. Well, what are you talking about? Tied to the darkness. 
soon to be completely eclipsed. Well, whoever you are, stop freaking me out like this. Huh? Well, well where did you come from? You're just asking this now. Not. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. That's the whole point of learning, jackass. Sora, let's take the raft and go. Just the two of us. Kairi suddenly a dick to Riku. If King Mickey specifically told Donald to apologize to Minnie for him, why would Donald keep the fact that Mickey left a secret? She was going to find out sooner or later. Of course. Of what? The queen? Because if that's not what he meant, then this is never really addressed again. Gorge, Jiminy! Your world disappeared too? It was terrible. We were scattered. And as far as I can see, I'm the only one who made it to this castle. How convenient, considering almost everyone else ended up in Traverse Town. Yes, uh, Mr. Nomura, uh, we're going to need you to come up with a design for the gummy ships. We just have textualist, low-count polygons so far. The game shipped yesterday. I'm sorry, what? Oh no! The raft! Wait, they don't live on the islands. How do they go to and from the islands? A boat? Then why is Sora worrying about the raft if he has a boat he can use whenever he wants? Riku's boat! And Kairi's! They all have individual boats! All the less reason to give a damn about the raft! You haven't seen the last of me! Hey, you know, maybe we ought to go find Leon! Or Donald, uh, you know, I bet you that, uh... Ah, when do you know you big for your cat? What do I know? Of course, Donald's a huge dick to Goofy. Oh, boy. Do you know where we are? Question, Sora. Why would you ask a dog? Oh, you're slipping, Leon. I thought your name was Squall. Then again, I've never played a Final Fantasy game, so what do I know? I went easy on him. You tossed fireballs at him. R Riku? I, I, I can't hear you, man. What do you mean, Final Mix? Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? I think you might have overdone it, Squall. I mean, he took a fireball to the face. Red! Crush me, ninja king! Breaking the fourth That's wall. Right. Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered! Too many worlds. Too many worlds or too many worlds? Yes, but runs on happy faces. Happy? <laughs> what a funny face! No, that was creepy. Either that or you guys just have a pretty sick sense of humor. All for one, one for all! This is not the Three Musketeers, damn it! Remember? Kyrie? Sora? Can you really blame him? I mean, he just recently took a fireball to the face, had two animals fall on top of him, and fought a robot all in the span of a few hours. He's bound to hallucinate. Hey, what do we have to do to grow small? Why don't you try the bottle? Over there. I mean, because it just showed up. It wasn't there before. Good timing. Give me a hand, will you? Discount any DeVito. Too heavy? Since when have you been such a little... Oh, bitch. Wrong guy. What, what were you going to say there, Phil? Two words. You guys ain't heroes. Come on. Joke's not funny the first time, but damn if they won't keep reusing it. <laughs> this moment made all the fanboys scream like little girls. Assuming you played Final Fantasy VII to begin with. Cloud somehow survived this. Oh, right. There was one other rule. I forgot. Accident happened. I know that's sarcasm, but how is that a rule? Hey, are you alright? I mean, a gigantic three-headed dog crushing yeah. with its paw, but other than that, I'm fine. How about a rematch sometime? 
Fair and square, no dark powers involved. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Fair and square? <laughs> okay. Kyrie, friends. Uh, right. You just fell and hit your head and fought a cheetah. I doubt your senses would be at full capacity right now, Sora. <laughs> really? <laughs> So, like, is Tarzan just cursing gorilla language? The subtitles seem to suggest so. I'm... Oh, you speak English. So then, obviously you're not related to Tarzan. He's also wearing clothes. I don't know how that didn't give it away. What am I doing with these imbeciles? Imbeciles? Okay. Does anyone know why Clayton has no more lines after that last scene? Oh. We could have just climbed up here, but... Thanks anyway. Suddenly, Jane and Turk, for some reason. Oh, now I've got it. Eh, ooh, 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 ah, means heart. Sure it's it does. Heart. Yes, the princesses. They are falling into our hands, one by one. Speaking of which... Why is Alice a princess exactly? She doesn't rule over any kingdom, nor does she belong to royalty, does she? Wait a second, where's Kyrie? Isn't she with you? If she was, he wouldn't be asking you where she is now, would he? Who are they? <laughs> we visited so many places and worlds, looking for you. Don't disregard the question, Sora, that's not what he asked. We've got this awesome rocket! Believe me, Sora, that ship is the least cool thing in this game. No! He can't come! What? Forget it! Oh, come on! He's my friend! I don't care! Donald is a dick to Riku. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Evidently. Now he values them far more than he does you. Oh, you know, it's not like they were looking for you or anything. Oh, right! Jiminy's with us. Playing hide and seek? Oh, I just don't believe it. And here I was, up all night just worried sick about you. Why of all the Pinocchio? That sound effect suggests that his nose just grew. Why didn't it grow immediately? <gasps> Who's there? Hello? If it was Jafar, you'd be fucked, Jasmine. <laughs> oh my god! Abu got buried! You saw that, right? Wish number one coming right up! So, does the J in Homer J. Simpson stand for Genie, or are we just hearing discount Robin Williams? Princess! Jasmine? Oh, that's right! She's in trouble, Aladdin! Again! What? Priority, Sora! Genie! Help Jasmine, please! One wish left! Boosh, I didn't hear the words really I wish. Easy. I'm sorry, <laughs> Al! Wouldn't she have broken the pot in several bones? Doing so may actually prove useful to our... Our... plan? I don't really understand the secrecy here. Back to your lamp! Since you have Jafar's lamp, couldn't you just ask for three wishes? I wish for my friends, I wish to find the king, I wish for you to stay trapped in your lamp. It's simple, really. We had a deal, yes. You help us, and we grant you your wish. Very delayed reaction, Riku. Why on earth would you wish it was a monster? Pinocchio, stop fooling around. This is no time for games. And you turn your back on him after just having looked for him because... What about Kairi? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us. And maybe I'll tell you what I know. Less than half an hour ago, we had a flashback where you complained about doing kid stuff, and now you're teasing us. For not doing kid stuff. Do you even want to save Kairi? Of course, asshole! That's what we've been doing this entire adventure! Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kairi? What do you care about her? Oh, uh, hello, jackass! We've been looking for her in all the worlds! We've done nothing but ask for her every time we meet you! I'm not gonna make it. Oh. 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 I guess I'm okay! Does that really count as lying? Because a lie implies you're not telling the truth. Pinocchio thought he wouldn't make it, so that technically isn't a lie. Now, I'll grant you a marvelous gift. The power to control the heartless. If you can grant Riku the power to control the heartless, wouldn't that mean he can just order the heartless to give Kairi her heart back? 
Not only that, but if you can give Riku that power, wouldn't that mean you control the Heartless too? And by extension, wouldn't that mean that you allowed Kairi's heart to be taken by the Heartless? How hasn't Riku caught on to that yet? Good job! No, let's move on to self-defense! Self-defense is a pretty specific thing to be taught along with how to swim. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole! The what? What's that? Yup, well, it's a... There's no such thing, certainly not here! Sure there isn't. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? He's a crab! You're 16! As the key bearer, you must already know, one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. Of course I know that. Yet that's what we've been doing this entire game. Sure, for the sake of finding the keyholes, but still! Maybe she could be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. Flotsam and Jetsam are playing the pronoun game. You called, my dear? No. I can help you get to these other worlds you long for. Why would Triton ever leave his trident, the most powerful weapon in the seas, unguarded like that? My father is hurt and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. My father's hurt because I didn't listen to him, so to make things right, I'm going to do the other thing he told me not to do. I'm right behind you, Ariel! <laughs> Indeed she can, Donald, for you see, she has no feet. So, why do Sora, Donald, and Goofy have these costumes on? Is that Donald's magic too, or is it just a Halloween Town Ex Machina? Why, of course. The Heartless need a heart. No shit, Jack. Maybe we're missing some ingredients. Let's try adding memory. I'm having a hard time believing that Dr. Finkelstein can't make a heart, considering the fact that Sally, one of his other creations, has one herself. So... what's the deal with that? Good for nothing, girl! Don't know why I bothered creating her! Creator reprimands creation for creator's own incompetence. Huh? Are we about to beat up some kids? Because I'm okay with that. And I'm not okay with that. Oh, hello! It? Nobody disrespects me! Nobody! Except for the heartless. <laughs> and then he turns into this for some reason. Next time, we'll do it together. Whoa, keep it rated E, guys. Where are Donald and Goofy? Are they that important to you? I mean, they have the ship, so we can't really friends. leave otherwise. Well, you were off goofing around. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> goofing around? <laughs> okay. You can go see your friends now. You know, it just occurred to me. Riku's reprimanding us for having new friends when technically he went off and did the same f***ing thing. But, Captain, you know who is also down- Voldemort's in this game? I thought he belonged to Warner Brothers. I finally found her! No, they gave it to Riku. You just happened to run into Riku in Neverland and her body just happened to be with him. So, if anything, technically Riku found her. I'm Peter Pan. I'm Sora. Okay. What a f***ing douche. So, how come you can fly? Really? You're just asking this now? Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her? And why those seven? What is Maleficent planning, anyway? Hook would be great at CinemaSins. Oh, why, yes. But she seems to be asleep. Her eyes are clearly open. I know it's possible to sleep with your eyes open, but come on. You didn't think I'd leave you and Tink behind, did you? Yes, considering how much of a dick you are. I still... I can't believe it. I really flew. Really, dude? It was reckless to bring her here without at least using a vessel. Wait, what? You mean to tell me that when Hook said that Riku ran off with Kairi, that was literal? F***ing how? Did he swim while carrying Kairi's near lifeless body? All the way from one world to another? Did he swim through space? If any of this is the case, I see even less use for the f***ing raft if Riku can just swim to other worlds. Look after her for me, will ya? What? Yeah, what? Are you sending Tinkerbell off with Sora against your will? Got a minute? Hades, Lord of the Dead, nice to see ya. Little nitpick here, why is Hades ranked 10 in his own cup? If we stick together, we're unbeatable. Not even Hercules stands a chance. But you fought Hercules alone! <laughs> Oh, we fucking get it, Nomura. Your characters have to be awesome and OP, but do they have to be this damn hard?
canonically, this never happens. We're still playing Kingdom Hearts, right? How can you be so cheerful? There's still no sign of your king. Oh yeah, King Mickey. This is a nice message and all, but why would you tell all this to your six-year-old granddaughter? And we'd take walks together, or play poo sticks. Ew. How do I say goodbye to myself? Holy bananas, is he planning an attempted suicide? Don't be scared. You're looking for poo, right? Um, he could look behind the bushes, maybe someone left some there. I shall hold on to the balloon and fly like a bee up the honey tree, see? What if you take their honey? Won't the bees be angry? Really? That's the flaw you see in this plan? It is rather funny what I will do for honey. Funny is the last word I'd use to describe the shit you do for food. Uh, why exactly are these still frames? <laughs> hey there! Name's Tigger! T I double G R. That spells Tigger! No, that oh, spells no. to Gigger. Um, what exactly was Sora doing? Actually, that might be Heartburn. No vessel, no help from the Heartless. So tell me, how'd you get here? I mean, how'd you get here from Neverland? We never really saw you use your dark powers to teleport, so one could assume you just swam here. I simply believed. Nothing more to it. Bully Fix Machina. We've always been rivals, haven't we? Uh, no, I thought we were friends. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. Oh, yes, there can. The rest of the series lives to prove that. You were just the delivery boy. Sorry. So, where'd the Keyblade go? Where'd you get that wooden sword? Well, I know the king told us to follow the key and all, but... These f***ing guys! Are you ready for them? <gasps> no! What? No, not without Kairi. The darkness will destroy you. What exactly was Nomura thinking when he designed this outfit for Riku? What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? He just told you. Magic barriers are known for their comical timing. Kyrie, Kyrie's inside me. Whoa! I mean, okay. Are you really? No, he can't be. I won't let him go. It's kind of too late. That's Sora, isn't it? Is that Sora? I bet that's Sora. You kinda already did! Oh yeah, the beast! A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story, right? I'm assuming Kairi's told him this story before, and who told her that story? Otherwise, this is really awkward. I can't help? You'd kinda be in my way. Can't tell if compliment or just being a dick. Sure you do. Besides, I couldn't forget you even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? We never got an answer to that. <gasps> Who are you? I am Sam. Are those just recycled sound clips? Adding this to Final Mix makes Chain of Memories in Kingdom Hearts 2 make less sense because... Well, let's not get into that just yet. Suddenly the devil himself. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. You may think I'm going to give this game another sim for the same reason I did earlier. Not the case. Because at this point, most fans know everything about the series, yet still understand nothing. This island is a prison. Riku's balls dropped tremendously in a span of a few hours. <laughs> Look, Darkseid, dude, let me level with you right quick. If you weren't a threat back when we started the game, there's no reason you'd be a threat now. Kingdom Hearts! Roll credits. And out of nowhere, this thing! Okay, is this thing supposed to be that thing's penis? Because it looks like a penis. Kingdom Hearts! 
Yeah, roll credits. Kingdom Hearts is light! Then why was Darkness spouting at it first? You know, Darkseid, I really don't give a damn anymore. Now, Sora, let's close this door for good! Disney's mascot, the whole reason this game even exists, relegated to cameo at Endgame. Also, apparently anyone can wield a Keyblade. Take care of her. You know, I'd send the fact that Riku stayed on the other side of the door instead of coming out and helping Sora shut it from his side, because that never made sense to me. If it hadn't been for the cutscene we saw earlier about the two Keyblades have to shut the door from both sides thing, sort of justifying it, it still wouldn't make sense. Then again, they added that for Final Mix, so all of us who played the original game are still left questioning why he didn't just close it from the outside. So yeah. Okay, let me see if I got this right. The kid from the Sixth Sense is the chosen one to wield an oversized key which he uses as a weapon. On his journey, he meets Donald Duck and Goofy, and with their help, takes down the douchebag from Titanic, and afterwards helps Mickey Mouse and the kid from Seventh Heaven seal the door to a place filled with evil creatures? Well, that definitely beats my fanfiction. Was she just standing there this whole time? If so, why? Kyrie! Sora! Ah! Kyrie! Remember what you said before? I'm always with you too. I'll come back to you. I promise! Wait, what the hell is that supposed to mean? You defeated Ansem, you sealed Kingdom Hearts. You're going back to Destiny Islands, aren't you? Why are you not going back to Destiny Islands? Something I don't understand is if Huey, Dewey, and Louie are native to Disney Castle, why were they in Traverse Town running a shop if their world never disappeared to begin with? Pinocchio's human for some reason, not that it'll last, of course. Why does Genie have his wristlets again? I thought he was set free. Donald and Goofy are wearing their normal clothes now, for some reason. Huh? Huh? Ah. Oh yeah! Pluto! Remember Pluto? How we met in Traverse Town and then just kinda never saw him after that? What the hell were you doing this entire time? Who exactly is the one saying all this text? I understood none of that. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Hey guys, Shari5 here, and thanks so much for watching Everything Wrong with Kingdom Hearts. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my over 30,000 subscribers. You guys are really awesome in supporting me, bringing you guys entertainment, something I love to do. An even bigger shout out to the people who recommended I play this game. I had a lot of issues with it at first, but then I absolutely fell in love with it. Kingdom Hearts 2, man. I loved it, but whew, boy, 10 plus hours worth of cutscenes. I, I don't know if I can handle that beast. But anyway, be sure to check out Cinema Sins, the awesome people I parody. They cover movies and such on their channel, so please show them some love. They're hilarious. Lastly, if you guys want to check out more parodies and you thought this one was pretty lengthy, you can check out something a bit shorter, like Everything Wrong with Spyro the Dragon. The link's right there. Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char I5, signing off.